Hi, my name is Nick, and today I'm going to show you guys how to schedule recurring tasks in Microsoft Planner using Microsoft Power Automate. And this uh, may come across like a complicated process to follow. Uh, however, it is actually really simple once you understand how this logic flows through Power Automate uh, into Microsoft Planner. So as always, if you do find this useful and informative, do go ahead and subscribe to the channel by subscribing and you'll be kept up to date with all of the videos that we do here for that office guy. Uh, and with that said, let's jump on over to the desktop uh, and take a look at how to do these reoccurring tasks in Microsoft Planner. Okay, so first thing that we want to do is just navigate over to office.com. Um, from here, what we're going to do is uh, scoot down the left-hand side, this app bar, and find Power Automate. Now, if you do not see it directly here, you can go ahead and just open up the app launcher uh, and find more apps. Uh, and if you still do not see it, you can go into all apps uh, and then find it from the list here. Um, so for me, Power Automate is can find on the list right here. Okay, and what you'll do is open that up. So I've opened that up into a new window just here, and this is what you'll be presented with. Um, so down the left-hand side, you'll have all of your kind of main navigation controls, um, such as, you know, action items, the flows you've created, or, you know, you want to create a new flow. Um, templates, connectors, data, and AI builders, all those kind of things uh, down there. On the main window here, you'll find that you can search for, you know, various different templates, uh, tasks, or, you know, by app, etc. cetera. Um, and also there's some top picks down at the bottom here. Now, I'm gonna show you guys how to create uh, this reoccurring task um, from scratch, not using a template, um, but you'll be able to find a template for this, uh, no doubt as well, because they've got quite a extensive library of different templates to use. And um, so what I'm gonna do is uh, go over here and actually click on the create button just on the left-hand side. I'm gonna give that a click. That's going to then open up um, this new window where we get the options here to create a, an automated flow, an instant flow, a scheduled flow, a UI flow or a business uh, process flow. So ignore those last two, they're a little bit more complex. Um, we're not gonna use those in some of these tutorials for a while yet. Um, but we have three other options here. There's the automated, uh, which basically means it's triggered by an event that happens. Uh, so that might be that, um, you know, say a task is completed. Uh, when a task is completed, you could do something here, right? Um, the instant flow, uh, an instant flow requires you to manually trigger, it, trigger that particular scenario by pushing a button. Um, and then there's the scheduled flow, uh, which was what we're going to look at today in terms of these reoccurring tasks. Okay, so we're going to click on scheduled flow to start with. Then this will give you the building, uh, the template, the, uh, I guess, wizard. This is build a scheduled flow. And the first thing we need to do is actually give this a name. So I'm going to say test um, planner task, okay, as my name. Uh, and then I can set a time for this to start, right? So if I go into the calendar here, I can say I would like this to start on a Monday, uh, the 30th. Uh, and I want this to start at, let's say, 9 a.m. Find it here, 9 a.m. Uh, on Monday. And then I want this to repeat every one uh, week, okay? And then you'll see on these days. So I'm just going to deselect everything. Uh, once a week on the Monday, it will run. So every Monday, this will run. If you want it to be every uh, Monday, Tuesday, every single week, then obviously you do that every other day. And uh, you could do that as well. And uh, if you want it to be a weekend only thing, you could do that. Um, but for this example, I'm just going to say every Monday, uh, I'm going to want this uh, flow to, to basically um, create me a task, okay, for, for someone that works in my organization, say. So it doesn't really matter so much about the time here other than the fact that we can adjust that later, but it's a good starting place. Um, so we're gonna start on Monday at 9 a.m. and if we want to adjust that later, we can. Uh, and obviously we can also adjust the days, but it's just nice and easy to say every Monday at 9 a.m. Uh, this is gonna go. Um, you can skip this, um, but we're gonna just create it. Okay, so we're gonna click the create button and that's gonna open up our flow. Okay, so this is the occurrence, the reoccurrence. Okay, so it runs every Monday. Uh, every week and we can edit this like I say and, and we can change these if needed um, but for the most part you're going to want to leave that uh, as you had set it up previously. Underneath there we get to add in the next step okay so this is where we'd go ahead and add in uh, step 
two in terms of you know creating the, the task. So if we click on the plus the step, uh, what we want to do here is actually find all of the things that we can do with Microsoft Planner. So I'm just going to type in Planner uh, and then I'm going to click on this section here. By clicking Planner there, it will load up everything you can do uh, with Microsoft Planner um, from Microsoft Power Automate. Um, so we can create a task, okay, which is what we're going to want to do. Um, but also we can um, add assignees uh, to a task, we can create a bucket, um, get a task, get task details, list the buckets, list my task. Um, we can obviously list plans for a group, list the tasks, uh, unassign users from a task, update a task, uh, update a task v2, um, so you know, as things progress through, and update task details as well. Um, so for what we're going to do in this example is we're going to create a task, okay? Um, and then it's going to sign in to create, so there we go, it's uh, signed me in. Um, and we're going to, first of all, the first option is a group ID. So this is the um, plan that we're going to add the task to. So from a drop down menu, we have these different plans. I'm going to click on cheeky, no, I'm not going to click on that office guy. Okay, and then I'm going to choose a plan, which is a test list. Uh, and then I'm going to give it a title. So we're going to say um, runs on a Monday. Okay. Uh, and if we wanted to, we can then choose it in to add it into a bucket. Okay, so we're going to add this to the to do bucket. Uh, obviously, if you've got a whole different list of buckets, you'll see them all there. The start time, uh, this is where we get a little bit more complicated. Um, so from here, what you want to do is actually head over to um, add dynamic content, which gives you this little pop up box, and then over to expression. From the expression, what we're going to do is actually scroll down until we find the date and time. Uh, and what we want to do is the UTC now, okay, um, and then click OK. So now that is basically starting when this flow starts. This is when this task will start. And then we can obviously go into the due date. Now, depending on how long you want to give this, and you might say you want it within uh, you know, one day, two days, uh, three days, or in this example, I'm just gonna use the entire week. Um, so what I'm gonna do is go back into here, make sure we have that dynamic content enabled, gives you this pop-up box and go to expression. From the expression, we're gonna scroll back down again to time and date. This time, what we're going to do is we're going to add dates, uh, add days, okay, um, here. So we're going to add days. Then we're going to go into, when in between those two brackets, we're going to go for the UTC now, okay. And then after the two brackets of the UTC now, we're going to put a comma. And this is where we add the number of days that we would like to actually add in here. Um, so for me, I'm just going to go ahead and add five days. Um, and then I'm going to click on OK. That now gives me a start date and an end date for this particular task. So when we know when it's due. The next box down here is where we can add email addresses of people um, that we would like to add um, and assign uh, this task to. OK, so if this is a reoccurring task for a set amount of individuals, you go ahead and add their email addresses in here. So for me, I'm just going to go ahead and type nick um, at thatofficeguy.com. OK, so that's going to just be assigned to myself uh, in this instance. Now, the other thing that we can do here is obviously this creates the, the basics, uh, basic, I guess, task. The next thing we can do is actually hit the next step. And uh, then from here, we're going to go ahead and type planner again. And um, this time we're going to go into planner. And what we're going to do is we're going to update the task details. OK, we're going to give that a click. So now what we're going to do is actually, you know, grab the test uh, task um no we want a custom value okay and what the custom value is going to let us do i just do that again and show you real quick um when you click into the task id uh, which is mandatory it's going to list out all the tasks that you have inside the bucket that you've uh, referenced already um, then what you want to do is click on custom value by clicking custom value it will open up the um dynamic content box over here on the right hand side and what we want to do is actually want to scroll down here and find um, the create a task section which would be the the task that we just created uh, and we want to find the id of that task which is just here okay so we find that id uh, and we hit and click on there right that puts the id the dynamic id of this task in here then we can do is add a description to this okay so i can say this uh, task runs every Monday um, and lasts for five days. 
Okay, uh, and likewise here we can add in uh, different things such as add in attachments and uh, various links to other, uh, other information. But for now, I'm gonna leave that blank. Okay, and I uh, can collapse that one down. The other thing that we can do here is if you really wanted to, you could then send yourself an email um, saying that you've, um, you know, this task has been successfully created, um, you know, just as a way to make sure that uh, everything is flowing through ex as you would expect it to. And in which case you would add that action and go email um, and then you want to find your um, find the email, send an email v2, this is the one that I usually use, uh, and then it will basically wait for it just to sign you in. Uh, then you could obviously just write an email to yourself, I can just uh, go and type my name, should find me, so I'll do that. Um, and then I can just say um, flow um, sucks, uh, yeah, success for, that'll do. Um, and if I wanted to, I could then obviously um, just say A, B, C, uh, and X, Y, Z uh, in there, just to you know, whatever notes you want to add. You could just add that into, into that box. So now if we just have a look at this uh, in brief, every one week uh, on a Monday, um, we are going to create a task, okay, that uh, runs on a Monday is what it's gonna be called. It's gonna get assigned to the to-do uh, bucket. Um, and it starts uh, when this whole thing kicks off. Um, but lasts for five days. It's assigned to myself, or that could be a list of different users. And from there, we're gonna update the details of the task, and we're going to run the task, and we're just gonna call this a description here of this task runs every Monday and lasts for five days. If we wanted to, we could add additional information in. Um, and then we're gonna send an email to myself just to let us know that it, it has been successful. And then we're gonna click on um, save, okay? And that'll basically save that task down. Now what I'm gonna do uh, very briefly is actually just change this to run um, every uh, minute. Okay, uh, and I'm just going to save that down very briefly. And then I'm going to flick over to Microsoft Teams just here. And um, from here, I'm going to see if I can find the test list. Okay, um, and I'm going to wait for these um, tasks to start coming through into Microsoft Teams uh, as per that flow. So every minute, uh, we should start seeing a new task getting added into this to do. Uh, bucket here um, and then by doing so obviously we'll then see how they all look uh, and feel and obviously I'll get an email for every single one of these that gets created as well um, so every minute um, starting from Monday actually so it's not going to work unless I change that so bear with me let me just come back here change these options it's obviously start time uh, as of tomorrow on Monday so I'm just going to change that to the 28th so it kicks it off already uh, and then I'm just gonna save that down again. So like I said, you can change these things uh, pretty on the fly as you need. Um, and obviously for testing, I like to do this kind of thing where I can you know, change the uh, intervals and the minutes into hours, uh, days, whatever you need um, to make sure that things are firing as you would expect them to be firing. Okay, so this is starting basically as of this morning. So this should be kicking off very shortly. Now, if I go and use this back arrow here, here we can see everything that's happened in the last 28 days as a run history. Um, so I can just uh, basically load this up as all history. Um, and what we're gonna see is um, this flow actually potentially starting to trigger through into this section um, once they kick off. So let's um, just give it a few moments uh, and see this kind of come through. And once it does, uh, I'll basically just fast forward this section. Okay, so here we can see that uh, we have this task running currently, uh, and I'm just gonna click on it, and it's gonna show us exactly what's happened. So it's created the task, it's going ahead, and it is basically, um, you know, adding, uh, it's got the task ID, it's gonna add this as a description of that um, to that particular task. And once that's done, and it can take a little moment to get going here, and uh, once it's finished, it will then go ahead and then send me an email to say that that has been completed as well. Now, if I come back over to Microsoft Teams here uh, and just flick between posts and our team list, we should see that this runs on a Monday is now actually populated here uh, inside Microsoft Teams under the to-do bucket for the test list. Okay, so really simple to see that. And if I come back here, we're just gonna give this a refresh, make sure that that's still going, which it is. Um, shouldn't normally take that long to just do something simple like this, but um, sometimes it can can cause a bit of an issue. And we can obviously see this by troubleshooting shooting, uh, you know, what's going on here. Um, but basically it is, um, just trying to, it's an internal server error, so give it a few moments, it will come through. Sometimes it can take a little bit of time to add those details, 
Um, but you can see here that this one was successful whilst the first one was still running. If I come back to Microsoft Teams here, this is the first one and obviously it hasn't added any of the, the description in. And here's the second one where it has added it in without any issue. Um, so straight away, every single minute, this is going to be running for me. And it's going to be creating these uh, scheduled, these reoccurring tasks based on whatever kind of scenario that, that we lay out. Um, so it's really, really handy, guys, uh, if you kind of have um, some tasks that are being created uh, you know, every single week or every single day that you just want to get out to your, your guys and to make sure that they're doing what they need to be doing, then ultimately, you know, start using Power Automate to automate the creation of these um, tasks. Now, there are some limitations, you know, you cannot add things like checklists, etc. Uh, in here, but uh, it's fantastic to be able to just add these kind of reoccurring tasks directly into um, your your plan as required. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head and edit this. Um, and I'm going to come back to this reoccurrence. And I'm going to change this back now to um, once a week, um, starting here. And it will obviously run on a um, Monday, uh, for example. So I'll just select the Monday again. Um, so now we can see once a week on a Monday, it will um, it will do this for me. Um, I'm just going to click save on that, make sure that gets put in. Um, and as always, guys, if there's um, uh, if you ever have an issue with your your Power Automate flows, you can actually turn them off as well uh, and turn them on as needed. So really useful features there. And um, so here we go. We can see I have three created here. The first one still hasn't added this in um, from that error, but the other two have. Um, and I say it can take a little while just to come through, um, but it, you know once they're there, um, it, you shouldn't have any problems whatsoever. Uh, and guys, it is literally as easy as that um, to actually go about adding these, um, I guess, scheduled and reoccurring tasks into um, your Microsoft Planner plans, um, and obviously have them embedded inside something like Microsoft Teams. Really useful. It saves you having to create uh, very manual, um, repetitive tasks every single week or month and you can get all this set up in planner uh, using sorry, power automate uh, and it will make your life all that much easier going forward so hopefully guys you found this useful if you did then you guys know what to do um, and with that said i will catch you guys in the next video